Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to review the Chasing Robotic Pool Cleaner. This thing is top of the line, coming in at just under $1,300. It's not your typical pool robot. It's way better, and I'll tell you why in today's video. Stay tuned. Just to put it into perspective, a typical pool robot's about this size. You need a hook to pull it out. The CM60 is completely different. It is tethered. So let me show you that. So what does it mean when I say tethered? What's ha what happens here is I've got this CM60 right over here, and it has a cord coming from it. You plug into a main unit where you can control it. There's also the option to control it with an app, completely free app that comes with this. So you can manually control it, change the settings, see how much time you have left on it, and also tells you where it's been in the pool. It's a really smart technology. But if you just do the automatic one, two, or three hour clean, clean, it'll get every inch of your pool. And the reason why I like a pool robot like this over say one of those cheaper $200 pool robots is the ability to climb walls and actually clean it. So it's not going to just get leaves off the bottom. It's going to get algae. It's going to get dirt, sand, whatever's at the bottom. It suction It has a dual suction capability. It's pretty impressive. So I'm not going to keep talking. I'm going to show it to you. Then we'll go over all the features of it. And then I'll also pull the basket out and see how it did. I'll run it on a two hour cycle and let's see what happens. I know it's a little hard to see with the bright light, but you have regular ultra fast custom and floor cycles. So I'm just gonna do a fast one hour clean here. And you just press this button right here, the power button. Now, once you do that, it will turn green. I know it's really hard to see in the bright light, but it is green. Again, this is the panel. As you can see, it is in full sun. I will need to cover that up with some sort of an umbrella. And once that submergence happens completely, you will, see, you will notice it starts to take off. Just submerged and there it goes. There are quite a bit of leaves as you can see in this pool. We did have a little bit of a storm last night, so this is actually pretty good. And there it is cleaning the side of the pool again. So let's get in the pool and let's look at it underwater and see how it works. As this guy right here is doing all of his magic, he's been going for about 25 minutes now. I just wanted to quickly talk about what it replaces. So normally when you have a pool, especially one of this size, you're gonna have a brush. So you're going to have something like this. Now this is going to attach to a very long pole, something really big like you see here to reach all parts of your pool. And you'll need to do this regularly. So in a pool like this, especially in the summer, three times, maybe four times a week, I'm scrubbing the sides, drenched in sweat, super hot out here in the Midwest and it's a lot of work. So you know what, brush, you don't need it anymore, gone. 
then you have some sort of skimmer. Now I will keep this just because some stuff floats. It doesn't sink to the bottom. So I will use this. And sometimes every once in a while, the skimmer basket, maybe the water drops a little bit. It doesn't get into the basket to clean it. So a little skimmer like this, I will definitely keep, but you don't even really need to if you've got good circulation in your pool, gone. Then you have this guy right here. Now this is the most annoying thing of all. This is the vacuum. So this is what's gonna vacuum the bottom out. You don't need that anymore because you've got a robot to do that for you. Attaching this thing to your pump, switching your pump over in the main unit, scrubbing the side, scrubbing it, watching your water level drop, having to bring in water. If you have a well, you could have iron issues. There's all kinds of problems when you're using a traditional vacuum to waste where you're sending it off to waste. Robot keeps everything there. It suctions it all up, ta literally captures it in its basket. So I'm really excited. Again, this thing's been going for about, I don't know, 25, maybe 30 minutes. Um, and it's literally picking up everything. I can see the bottom. It's crystal clear. Couple leaves it hasn't quite got yet, quite gotten yet. But after an hour, I'm gonna get this thing out. I'll show you how the pool looks. We're gonna open up that basket. I wanna see what it picked up because the pool looks really clean but maybe it wasn't, and we're gonna find that out real soon. All right guys, so here it is. I wanted to get a close-up look so you could kind of see how the panel is, how big this unit is. Look how big this guy is. This is not a low-end, cheap, underwater robot cleaner. Now this is a pool cleaner that uses dual jets. So inside here you'll notice there's two jets. So if you noticed in the video when it got to the top of the water uh, it would kick out a whole bunch of water out of there because those are the pumps right there. And if you look underneath here look how amazingly good this is right here. I mean this grabs it so incredibly well with wheels on the bottom and rubber wheels on the top and then it has these grippy almost like tractor like uh, grab uh, wheels on both ends of this. It does have lights right here. As you can see, they're kind of an orangish red right now, and that's because it's not submerged in water. I do have it plugged up to the control panel. Now this control panel here has multiple functions here. So you've got your pickup button, you've got your start stop, and you have your mode. It switches between regular, ultra, fast, custom, floors only, and water line, where it just cleans the water line. You'll notice this little arrow, arrow light right there. All that means is this is not submerged. This is submerged, this turns green, arrow light goes away, and you're good to go. Now this is the power on this side, and this is the tether. Now this is a very long tether, so if you're worried about it not being big enough for your pool, it's big enough for your pool. This thing is incredibly, I have a 34 foot wide pool, and it could do double that. So you don't have to worry about that. You do not want to get this wet or direct sunlight for any period of time. So I repeat that again, do not get this wet. So if you're in a position where it could potentially, this tether could pull that into the water, make sure that doesn't happen. Anchor it down. I put mine on the other side of the fence line. So if for whatever reason that did happen, it couldn't, it would stop it. Uh, this tether is plenty long enough so that I wouldn't have to have that problem. But again, I don't know your situation. So make sure this does not get submerged in water and you don't want it in direct sunlight for any large amount of time. All right, so I know you guys are excited. You want to see if this picked anything up. So how do you find out? Well, there's a little basket on the top here. So if you open this guy up right here, oh my gosh. Yeah, I thought my pool was really clean. Yeah, let me show you a close up of this right here. This is, this is not pretty at all. I didn't have a lot of debris, so you couldn't notice it. But uh, if you look inside here, look at all of the green on the side there. I mean, that is really green and gross, and there's some debris at the bottom. Again, I only had a couple leaves in there because I'm, you know, it's pretty good about not having any trees close to it, and I keep it pretty clean. But man, look at all that green. Just to put it in perspective on color, let me show you what a panel looks like uh, before you get it dirty and put it in here. Now, just to put it into perspective, this is what they're supposed to look like. And if you look side by side here, I know it's a little bit hard to see in camera, uh, pretty significant difference here. Let me see if I can get, a, get an angle of this. Yeah, look at that. So normal right now, normal right now. I'm actually probably gonna just uh, spray this out with a hose and see if I can't get it clean because I don't wanna have to replace these panels. But it does come with two extra panels. So that is very, very nice. And the mechanics of this thing are pretty basic. So it sucks, sucks it up right here and there is a closing flap. So this flap right here 
uh, will close up once it sucks it in so it won't go right back into your pool and there's the motor right there very powerful guys this thing is pretty darn impressive as I almost wish I didn't see that because I've been using a pool, another pool robot for quite a while and it never picked that up. So um, it didn't pick up that algae. So I scraped the sides of the pool quite often, but clearly not well enough. This robot found it and I had, <laughs> luckily it cleaned it out. Um, the pool is sparkling clean like I have never seen before. I use this a couple times and every time I do, it just gets cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. It picks up things I didn't even know was in there. The bottom of the pool especially, because everything settles in our pool, this picks everything up. And the sides, it settles to the sides of our pool. And I don't know if why that is, but for some reason, settles to the sides. A traditional pool robot, just to put it in perspective. So this is what a normal pool robot looks like. Now this is a $200 pool robot. It's very popular, very good for um, flat bottom pools or pools that are above ground. Look at the difference in size. Now guys, this thing right here, there's the hook I was telling you about before. This guy right here is very inexpensive, but again, it only goes on the bottom. It will not climb walls. It won't get all that fine dust or anything out that this one will get out, any of that algae, anything like that. It's just pick up leaves. That's what this is for. If you have a lot of leaves in your pool, then that might be a good option for you. But if you don't have a lot of leaves in your pool, you have other things like sand, debris, dirt, grime, uh, even just using a lot of suntan lotion, spray suntan lotion, sometimes it gets in the pool, covers it up, sinks to the bottom. You know, it just, there's a lot of things, a lot of factors in your environment that could cause a lot of problems for your pool and makes it not usable. Pool is to be enjoyed. You should enjoy your pool. Get a robot like this that does everything for you. Yes, it's expensive, it's not cheap. It's one of the more expensive ones out there. It's the best one I've ever used and I'm gonna use this all the time. I can't imagine using any other pool robot for my pool. Um, I have a friend that has a pool that's above ground. I would not recommend this to the above ground pool because pretty much everything settles to the bottom of that pool. Nothing on the sides and certainly no steps. This thing works on steps, climbs the side of the pool. Even that lip that you saw in my pool, cleans it right up, no problem, love it. Uh, the tether doesn't bother me, it does not get tangled. A lot of people worry about that getting tangled because of these, this buoy right here. It does not, very smart. If it starts to tug a little bit, it spins itself out. I don't know how it does it, smart technology. But because of this buoy also, it never flips. So even if it kind of comes up to a wall a little sideways, looks like it flipped, it corrects itself because of the buoy. It was a smart idea. Again, long tether, it is wired, so you will need this. Um, even if you use the app, you still need to have the control panel accessible because it powers this right here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions, feel free to comment down below. But links to this and discount codes where you can get one of these if it's something you want to do. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, guys. Bye.